Good morning, sassy people. <laughs> I still feel like moving a little bit because I just got fit with Rick. I can hear Whitney Houston songs still going on in my head. I feel so emotional. The song, not me. But anyway, I hope everybody had a great weekend and you're doing great. I stayed in this morning and I just did a... Um, a quick 2,000 steps with, you know, with Rick, you don't feel like you're walking 2,000 steps because you get into it. And Rick kind of has some moves, you know, because it turns into more of like dancing than it does walking. But anyway, I will link that video down below if you'd like to give it a try. Because I had one of those um, Kind bars this morning. I think it was 220 calories. Well, that burned 250, so I'm hoping that... <laughs> I might go back and do another one later on. The reason why I didn't go out, our weather doesn't know what it wants to do. <laughs> Remember, it was like a, a little short cold snap that we had because it was like in the 30s and a couple of nights up in the 20s overnight. Then we went up to in the 70s. The other day it was 72 degrees. Now this morning, it's not cold, but it's chilly because it's raining out so i didn't go out this morning i just didn't so anyway i stayed in with rick oh let me go ahead and get started i am doing two things this is a um uh, sweet and shimmer cooling gel under eye mask and i'm gonna put it with this bubble mask i'll keep talking i know i stop a lot but this is another one that uh, Tasia gave me for Christmas. And they're very thin. Really thin. But this is a bubble clay mask treatment. It is... Has uh, with kaolin clay, peptides, and ceramide to revitalize, hydrate, and help with anti-aging. It will change from clay into bubbles. Huh. So you're to put it on clean skin, avoid blemishes and pimples. Don't have any of those. Uh, apply it generously onto your clean, dry skin. Avoid eyes and lips. Watch your mask naturally foam up. Leave it on for 20 minutes. All right. Let's see how it does. So what I was saying was... I got stuff right in front of me, so I... <sighs> it was cold and rainy out, so I just stayed indoors. And you know what? One thing I have, what? I thought I had already cut it enough. Let's see. Oh my gosh, another one of the colors. Oh, I'm going to have to put that around my... Uh... You can't see it, but it's like a, a putty or actual clay color. Wait a minute. I didn't realize this. Well, actually, I hadn't chosen which one I was going to do when I got dressed this morning. <laughs> so, let's see. All right, so I don't even know what I was saying now. Oh, after I uh, did the video with Rick, I thought, let me try doing some stretching because, you know, Dr. Salick told me to stretch my hamstrings every morning, especially the right side. So, even though that looks left to you. <laughs> um... Have you seen that I can't talk and do this at the same time? Give me one little second to get this on. This is a mess. Hold on, and I will have it on in just a second, I promise. Okay, I'm not quite sure where they got this one from, but if you come across one like that, just know that you probably should just like put on a tank or something. If you're going to do this, because it's messy. But anyway, I was saying, I was 
trying to do a yoga. So I went on YouTube and I found one. And she's lovely. Don't get me wrong. She's a sweet young lady. Her name is Kim. And the video is great. I just don't think I'm cut out for yoga because I think I might be a little too hyper for it. <laughs> I can't take that many directions and stay calm at the same time, you know, that you, you know, to raise your arms up and breathe in, open your hands, bring it back in front and exhale, lower your head. Now put your arms out and turn. I can't do all that. I mean, her, her, it was only like 19 minutes or so. I think I lasted about 12. I couldn't do it. <laughs> so anyway. I did one. It's it said it was for seniors and beginners. So and she's lovely. The video is lovely. If you can just be calm for that long, I know I can't do it. So I'll stick with Rick and then just do my own stretches afterwards. Because I'm supposed to do the ones to. Where you lay on your back and you do the butterfly with your legs and then you rock from side to side. And then um, where I have to do an extended leg out with your foot flexed and stretching those hamstrings. That brought, brought back so many memories from when I used to have to do those when I had my knee replacement. I know that that's one body part that I need to work on. So I'm doing hamstring stretches every day because I feel it. You know what? I look like Santa Claus. <laughs> it's bubbling now, guys. Wait a minute. Let me show you. <laughs> Do you see how it's bubbling up? Ho, ho, ho. So anyway, what was I talking about? Let's move on. Uh... I did a nail video yesterday. They're pretty and they turned out nice. I just, ooh, I felt like something was getting close to my eye. I'm not good when it comes to the designs and things. Tell me, I really have tried. And next, I'm going to do the foils. I had already um, started with this one and what it is. Can y'all see those? I put the nail stickers there on those. But they turn out pretty well. It's just that the designs aren't cute. I know they aren't, and it's okay. You can say. <laughs> but um, maybe when I really want, like, some real pretty and, you know, colorful designs and things, I might... Just go ahead and wear the press-ons. The thing about those that I'm afraid of is I don't want to ruin my nails. Because you you guys see they're so healthy now. And they're long and they, you know, they're, they're great. It's just that I don't want them to go back. Remember, I don't know if you all remember, because I remember vividly, they would not grow. I, I kept trying to grow them out and clip and grow them out a little bit and clip. It took me forever for them to get this way. But the one thing that has helped is I stopped using acetone on them, period. So, and just, you know, with those press-ons, I definitely had to soak them off. I don't know. Maybe on an occasion, I'll put on some of the press-ons when I'm wanting, you know, a real jazzy design on there. Or, let's see how I'm able to do with the foils. That might be a good option. So, see that video? and Oh, <clears throat> the grout. <laughs> you know what? I've come to terms that I just have to accept that I know my floor is clean. Um... My back knows my floor is clean. <laughs> Sheila is so sweet. She uh, got in touch with me to ask me how my back was. And Sheila, it, it has been hurting. I think I did overdo it a little bit. Because she was like, well, no, I only do like one section at a time, maybe like 15 minutes. Oh, no, I scrubbed that whole floor. <laughs> I don't know if you all can see, but I had pushed like the table and everything back. I think you could kind of see part of it in the back. I pushed that in one corner, scrubbed all that. Then I let that part dry. I moved all the furniture. It was not all that furniture. It's the table and chairs I have in there. Moved it over here that I did over by the window. And I, I overdid it a little bit, Sheila. 
But anyway, now I know. Don't try to do it all at one blow. And um, Leedy and Carolyn, I went to Dollar General and got my supplies. <laughs> I know I said I, I know I just said I was gonna just let it be, but I am gonna try those couple of things. They swear by them, so I got the white vinegar, and um, I also got baking soda and peroxide. I think it was Lady said to try. We'll see. And then I saw there was a young lady on um, one of the YouTube channels, and she was talking about a grout pen that she uses. Now I don't want the kind of grout pen that she had because it was white. I don't want white grout. The grout wasn't white. To be a oh, reason why I'm pointing down because I have that same tile in here. And here's the thing: the in the entryway coming into the house in the front door and in both bathrooms, I have the same tile and I don't have that grout problem. So I'm thinking that it's just the kitchen and how much traffic goes on in the kitchen and cooking and dropping stuff and then cleaning it up. I think it's just the kitchen's wear and tear. I don't know. Because in here, I guess because I have um, I have a little rug in front of the toilet and then I have uh, a rug right up under my feet. So I guess that it's not as much traffic in the bathrooms and in the, coming in the front door and stuff. Because I keep it mopped, you know, all four places. It's just the kitchen. That, I'm going to have to get over it. I know. I know. I'm going to have to get over it because I know it's clean. I clean my house. But anyway, um, I was saying that this young lady had a grout pen, but she was, it was white. And her, it was beautiful when she finished because her tile was like gray. It was gray and then the pen was white. I was thinking to myself, she does realize that that white is not going to stay like that, right? And so can you imagine how yucky that's going to be looking when... That white is no longer bright white. But I was thinking, I'll look on Amazon and see if they have like a beigey color grout pen. Then that means I got to get down and <laughs> line everything up. I'm going to leave it alone. After I do the baking soda, peroxide, and vinegar, I'm going to leave it alone and just mop and scrub my floors. All right, now on to a new topic. <laughs> um, I... I'm getting kind of upset with these stores. I went sh grocery shopping and so expensive. I um I have been putting like organic honey in my coffee because I gave up sugar and all that. So in just like a month, Publix has gone from, and it's not even a big like bottle, from $5.99 for that honey to $7.99. I'm not going to pay them $8. Well, I did. I got two. But I'm not going to be paying like $16 for honey every time I go when I can just go and find the farmer and get his pure organic bee honey from his farm. He, um, he sits in different locations. But I saw that he had a sign over near one of the Walmarts that's close by my house. So what I may do is give him a call to see when he's gonna be at that location. And then that way I know to go and buy it from him. It is it is $25 for, it's like a mason jar, one of those big mason jars. It's $25 for the honey, but I mean, it's honey, honey. I mean, you can see the, comb, the honeycomb in there, you know, the big wad. Um, I think that that's the way I may go. And plus you're, you know, you're supporting local farmers, local businesses. So I think I'll be getting my unfiltered honey from the farmer now. <laughs> that's crazy. $8 for a little bottle of honey. But anyway, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, what else happened? It was something else. I w oh, <laughs> this was so funny. Miss C sent me a text because she talked about stuff for spring. And by the way, I have a couple of things to haul for spring. I know what I said. Hush. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, she said and asked me, should she get a pair? And I, so I told her, yes, she sure should. It, ooh, this is really foamy now. 
I said, it should be, you should get the black pair. <laughs> so she said, yeah, that's what I thought. And so I told her, I said, oh, by the way, I, I, I want a pair too. So she said, done. <laughs> Wait till I put the picture up and show you. I was thinking to myself, now, sorry, who in the world even wears that other than those little young teeny bopper girls? I'm like, really? How can that even be a trend? That's actually it's a little nasty. But it, in my opinion, I have to keep putting that out, in my opinion. Oh, and then two, I keep getting all these calls, right? And I'm sure you all do too. Oh, no, I'm going to have to put some bleach on these and just wash it when I get finished. All this, you guys can't see, but it's kind of like a pinky color. And it's getting all on a mess. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, for one thing, when it said clay, I didn't know it was going to bubble up like this. Look. <laughs> Foam face. So anyway, um, how many minutes has it been? 11. Ugh. This may not stay for 20 minutes, guys. But anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I have gotten to the point now where it's like, you know, these numbers that I know are just like telemarketers or whatever. I just pick it up. Sometimes I'll just say, hello, hello. <laughs> Most of them hang up at that point. Ella was dying laughing one day when I, <laughs> when I let her listen to what I was doing. Yes, most of us old school people still have our home landline and our cell phone. And you know what? I thought about that the other day because it, it's true. Most of us that are like seniors around here because my friend Twyla asked because I thought, is it just me that hasn't come, you know, like into the <laughs> into this century? I said, um, so I asked my friend Twyla, I said, do you still have your home phone and your cell phone? She said, yeah. Then I asked Caressa, she said, yeah. I asked Ella, yeah. So all of us, yeah, we still have our home phone and our, <laughs> our landline. And I think I keep mine because when, you know, we have hurricanes and my phone died one time and I had no way to contact anybody and they couldn't contact me. Um, and I kind of fixed that problem too because I have a landline. Do you realize that there's like a little uh, gadget that you can keep plugged in and like if you do lose power and your cell phone or your computer and all these, your electronics die, you can just put your USB into that little port and it charges it up. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little picture if I can remember to, but I got it off of HSN and it really works because one time we were, the power had gone off and uh, Miss C and I were texting at the time. She said, oh shoot, our power is off too. And so she was going to, you know, get off the phone. So I said, okay, no problem. I said, but for me, I can charge my, she said, well, how can you charge it if you don't have power? So I sent her a picture of that. She said, I'm going online and ordering it as soon as our power comes back on. And they really work. And I just leave mine plugged in. I have one in the master bedroom and one in the kitchen. And I just leave them plugged in. And like, you know, for the power goes off and you see your cell phone is like going, you know, 15% or something. All you have to do is plug it right in there. And the thing is, it charges it back up faster than my regular phone charger. You know, I just charged it for like a few seconds and you can automatically see it charging back up. So I swear by it and I'm keeping my landline. <laughs> so uh, what I was talking about when these people, cause you know, sometimes I'll just start screaming hello and then they, <laughs> they either figure, okay, this is one really crazy old lady or she knows we're calling to try to like scam her about something and they just hang up and there was one man trying to actually he was like yeah hello hello can you hear me hello <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> and then I said yeah actually I can hear you and I'm not selling my house stop it stop calling here every day <laughs> And what I want, do you all get those calls too? And then one day I had to tell this girl, I said, okay, explain to me. Did you see a for sale sign out front? She said, oh, what? No, but um, what, what we're doing is, I said, just stop it. I said, if I'm going to put my house up for sale, then you'll see a for sale sign out in my yard. Other than that, stop it. You all call here every day. It's crazy. But anyway, 
let me get on with the uh, the little mini haul that I have here. I ordered some makeup from Lancome because, um, you know what, this says like almost 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is wash this off because I'm afraid that I'm going to have a full beard in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to wash this off. I'll come back and show you what I got from Lancome and Talbot's for spring. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. This feels really good. I just recommend if you find one like that, <coughs> excuse me, Make sure you don't have on something white. <laughs> this one has a couple of stains now. But I'm going to use my, um, what is it? Growth Collaborative Stain Remover. That stuff is great and it gets it right out. Just let it soak for a few minutes. But anyway, the mailman <laughs> brought this yesterday. You know, I guess... I guess they do like Sunday deliveries and things on some things. And he is so sweet. He'll bring it right to my door and ring my doorbell for me. See, treat people right. Because remember, I, you know, I put those little gifts out there for them, little goodies. He brings mine to the door. <laughs> I love it. So anyway, I was getting low on foundation. So Macy's has a free gift going on, ladies. Anybody that likes uh, Lancome. So you have to, I think it's a $39.50 purchase. Trust me, the foundation is much more than that. But anyway, um, so I got me some more foundation. Then I got the free gift. And then on top of it, if you purchased a foundation that day, then you could get a beauty blender for 9 bucks. These beauty blenders are $20 a piece. So I got me a new beauty blender. But anyway, I'm hoping that this is going to work for me because you know how you can do the online chat I hope that that's not too dark um, <clears throat> they've done away with my shade is basically why I was like not knowing really what to order I, I take 450 suede in neutral um, and so when I was asking her which would be uh, comparable to what I used to wear, she said something like 560 uh, warm or something. And I was like, so let me get this right. You're telling me I need to go from 450 to 560? Wouldn't that be way too dark? I'm sitting there looking at the computer and I knew it was like ebony uh, for an eb more ebony tone black person. And she said, so then she starts typing again. So she says, oh, I'm so sorry. I meant 460 instead of 560. I'm thinking, does she really even know? Because that would have been a big mistake if somebody didn't like know anything about their shades and had the, the colors sitting right in front. Because I was looking at the screen the whole time I was typing. I'm looking right at Lancome's shades. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to go from 450 to 560. So anyway, she said 460. So go from 450 suede in to 460 suede warm because it has warm yellow undertone. This does not look like it has any yellow undertones to me. Does it to you all? Well, I don't know. I tell you what. I'm going to use it. Maybe not today because today is usually the day I let my skin breathe um but when i get dressed in the morning and i uh, put out do my face if that's not the right right color it's going back and macy's never gives me any kind of problem you know i've been a, a customer for decades and i get they you know they go with the flow they just let you return stuff i I'm, i'll be returning that if it's not my shade so anyway In the free gift, I got um, Renergy Lift Multi Action. This is like a moisturizer. I was running low on that, so it's good. I got that. Then I got the eye cream, the eye makeup remover, 
a baby thing of Genifique. <laughs> I already have Genifique. And then this must be a mascara. I don't know why I'm sitting there like that. And I got my glasses right here. Uh, this is Mon Cherry. Uh, it's mascara. One big is the new black. Really? <laughs> so anyway... I don't, I'm not sure because I do like the Fenisils. And there is a big difference in their mascaras, believe it or not. Because um, I've tried some of the other formulas and I end up looking like a raccoon. It ends up transferring, so I don't know. Because my skin can get kind of oily during the day, some, especially in the summertime. So I just like my Defenicils because I know it's waterproof. Therefore, it doesn't do all that smudging. I'm not sure about this. And then I got a, I know this palette is not going to be any shades that I use. I know it's not. Nope. Those are just not my colors. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, they're natural. And then there's two that are shimmery. Wait a minute. Can you see that that's very shimmery? I don't wear And then that's like a navy blue. I'm not going to use that. And then, oh, they gave me a free gift with it. I must not have put them in here. But anyway, what I'm going to do. Oh, and that's just a beauty blender. What I am going to do, because I know I'm not going to use this eyeshadow. I'm just not. No need me even saying I'm going to. The thing about it is I probably could have given several away to one of you all because I have about two or three that I took and I took the brush and did like that and mm-mm. So I'm not going to do that with this one. I'm just going to give it to somebody. And I'm not doing it like in a giveaway or whatever. The first person that emails me and says, yeah, Linda, I would like to have it, then it's yours. So it'll be this little pouch. I'll put the um, eyeshadows in there. And you can have this little baby, Genifique. I love this stuff, but let me show you something. reason why I'm not going to keep it. It would just be selfish. It really would because when I ordered, I think it was like some gift set or something. I already had that one. And that. And I have the big one. So there's no need for me to keep that. So it'll be the purple case, the eyeshadow palette, um, the baby Genifique. And the little samples. I think it's like some kind of... Make sure I didn't bring it in here. No. I can't believe I didn't bring it in here. It was like a little plastic baggie that had the free gift in it. But anyway, it's like a little sample of moisturizer. And I think some kind of perfume sample. So... If you would just um, email me at maturesassy at gmail.com and say, yeah, I would like to have the Lancome goodies. Just tell me that, and I'll know what you're talking about. It's just the first person, though. All right, so then I was getting dressed the other day, and I put on pink, and I realized I don't have pink lipstick anymore. I think I threw it. I had two. One was Revlon, and one was... Uh, Maybelline and I love those pretty colors as a matter of fact every time I wore them some of you all would you know ask me about the color I don't have pink anymore so I went by CVS <laughs> and you know what guys have you noticed that every place that you go now you have to check your well you don't have to but they prefer you to use checkout and I was like wow so Nobody was at any of the registers in uh, CVS, so I just stood there and stood there, and I looked. So then the manager comes over, and he said, he said, oh, come on, I'll check you out. And I said, oh, I didn't realize that there was self-checkout now. So he said, yeah, he said, 
you want to give it a try and then the next time you'll know and I said well I think I know how to check out the only thing is can I just scan my phone to get my rewards he said well it won't do it for your phone he said but do you have your card I said yeah I do you know how you have your little reward card on your your extra care on your because I have it on my keychain but I also sometimes just let them scan it from my phone because I have the app and so he said, you have to do it from the, the card. I said, okay, sure, no problem. So as soon as you go over, you know, it asks you for your card, you just scan it, and then you just scan your product. So I'll just check myself out. I don't have a problem with it, but I'm just noticing more and more places you're doing that. So what are they going to do away with all the cashiers now? I'm like, oh my gosh. Well, then too, I know that a lot of places are saying that it's hard to keep people now. So I don't know how people are not working, but anyway... Uh, so CVS, I experienced that. Then I went in Dollar General to get the peroxide and stuff. They have set up a check self checkout now too in Dollar General. So anyway, I just thought I'd ask. Have you all noticed that too? Oh shoot! I guess I should just leave them on. Um, so I got this one from Maybelline called Pink Wink. And it's more like a rosy pink, like a rose color. And I thought I would put it with this one because this is more bright. I could have sworn I got a pink one. Oh, you know what I did? I did. I got a pink one from um, Lancome. Remember when I ordered like about four or five lipsticks? I gave it to... Um, Sharon, I think in the one of the Christmas give it that because I was in there looking at my makeup stuff and I was like, I know I'm not crazy. I know I got me a pink. That's where it is. But anyway, so then this one is a Revlon. This is a bright pink and I thought I would mix the two together. This is like a cream and this is a matte. But isn't that a pretty pink? It's fuchsia like. Almost the color of my nail polish, huh? So this one's from Revlon. So when I put on my pink sweater in a couple of days, I'll have my pink lips to put on. All right, so the two things that I got from Talbot's, and I'll hurry. Oh, see, that says like 12 minutes, but I know it is, and it's because I stopped the, to wash this off. Sorry, I hope it's not too long, guys. But remember I told you if you go like on these um, sites, and this is probably stuff that was from last summer do I care that it was for last season I don't because it's still going to be in season because it's a classic cut the only thing is this color is probably not a classic color because it has kind of like a neon cast to it I love it it's pretty I like it now here's the thing I was <laughs> I was thinking I was like I was talking to Ella and I said oh shoot I think I'm gonna have to like open my Poshmark back up and just post those and just sell them. I said, because they're final sale items, which means I can't even exchange them. I can't send them back. So I sent her a picture of me where I said, I'll put, I said, I'll put, put them on and then I'll show you a picture and tell me what you think. She was like, no, why do you think that those are too small? They fit perfectly. So maybe I'm just used to buying things so oversized because I don't want anything like clingy and tight showing every little lump and bump. So I get, maybe I need to stop doing that because she said, no, they both fit perfectly. And she is a seamstress, a professional seamstress that can make anything. So I said, okay, I'll just keep them then. But it's this real pretty lemony yellow. And it, I, what I loved about it is white around here and white on the cuffs. I'm not the cuffs, but the bottom of the sleeve. I thought that was so pretty. And remember near the end of summer, I got kind of a, kind of like a lemony yellow pair of their cargo pants that were, I think they were linen. And those, <laughs> I might have to like do several more get fit with Rick videos. I, I think that they're a little snug. But anyway, that was what I was thinking of pairing it with. And I can always wear it with my white jeans. Which, by the way, I have a pair of white jeans coming. <laughs> Guys, listen. They had all of their clearance stuff. An additional 60% off. 
an additional to the sale price. And I know that Talbot's is expensive, so this was originally $89.50. I'll, I'll put what price that I got it for, but it, trust me, it wasn't $89.50. So then I found this jacket. You know I've been wanting a blazer in this stripe. But it's not black and white stripes. It's like a a chambray blue, like a like a coastal blue. You know, like if you were going up to the Hamptons. <laughs> yeah, right, Linda. Um, or Connecticut, you know, up in those coastal areas. I just thought that was so pretty. So it's blue and white, and it was a hundred sixty nine dollars. Then they marked it down to one nineteen. Trust me, I did not pay any of that for it. Let me show you something. Because this is what I was talking about. And you probably can't really tell. But look here. Do you see how they have taken the time, even in the seam, to make sure that everything lines up perfectly? Look. Do you see where the pocket is? Right here? That seam goes right across the pocket. Do you see how they've taken time to make sure that that matches? That's how you can tell a quality garment. Look at the sides, guys. Oh, I know where's the side seam? Right here. Do you see that side seam? Here's the seam right here. Can't really tell this one. Can you see that seam? Perfect. <laughs> That's how you can tell a well-made quality garment. <laughs> so I snatched this up because I really wanted black and white. And I actually have a black and white one coming. <laughs> Not from Talbot's when I couldn't, you know, get my... Remember the black and white when I took back to Nordstrom Rack <clears throat> because of the lines. So when Talbot's had this one on clearance, I got it because I thought this would be so pretty with white jeans this summer, right? And uh, so then a girl sent me, uh, not an alert, but you know how when they make an, another offer to you, then Poshmark will notify you. She marked this lame, and I forgot that I had even hearted it on you know, the site. She marked it down to $17. So you know I clicked purchase, right? <laughs> so, so I had that one coming. It is so pretty. Um, it's black and white stripe, and it looks like the stripes are gonna match up. I hope the only thing that I hate about taking a chance on Poshmark like that was well, $17. I don't consider taking like a chance. It's it's okay to spend that that amount. But you know, sometimes if you're spending 50 or $60, you don't want it to look like crap when it gets to you. And I've had that problem too. So I'm hoping that it's not real worn because the pictures that some of them post on Poshmark are not what the garment looks like when it arrives at your house. And that's why I try my best, well, stuff that I had on there was like practically brand new and some of it was new with tags. That's why it would get on my nerves when people try to nickel and dime me. I can understand if something is actually used and you've worn it, you know, and everything. That's like you would go to a thrift store and you're, you know, like you're thrifting. But when you see that I have worn something, because I would even write in the description, it's only been worn once when I went, you know, to the doctor and now I don't care for it. It doesn't fit. So somebody, you know, somebody has worn an item, a great quality item one time or two times. Why in the world are you going to try to get them to sell you that item for $5? I just, that's why I just wiped out my whole Poshmark and just donated my stuff. Because <laughs> I just got fed up with it. But. I said all that to say this, when I would post, I truly was giving a description and a picture of what the item really looked like. Some of these people, when you get the item, it doesn't look like that. So I'm hoping, I know it's a used item. She said it's gently used. I'm hoping that that jacket looks nice. You know, I will just either just take it straight to the cleaners or um, straight in the washing machine. <laughs> because she was talking about she she apologized that it took her a few days to uh, several days to um 
send it to me because she said she had to make sure that she and her son were not sick. So we know what she said. She said because she had to make sure that she was tested and then got her test results back before going out to the post office. So that jacket is going straight in a bag into the cleaners or either straight in my washing machine. So Anyway, and no, I'm not a germaphobe. I just like things clean and sanitary. <laughs> Hence the scrubbing my floor three or four times. <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming by and hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. And uh, first person that would like to have the, it's a little eye, mini eyeshadow. Genefique, that Genefique is amazing. I love it. And the little samples that were in there. And the little purple pouch. Let me know. It'll be the first come, first serve. Guys, have a wonderful week. Stay safe. If you're in a cold climate, stay warm and safe. I think it was Tammy or Terrell Diva. She said she had been, like, I guess homebound. So I think she said since Wednesday or something. She's up north, I think. And she was snowed in. I mean, like not even able to go to work snowed in. I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry for you. So anyway, you guys stay safe out there because I remember trying to drive on snowy roads. I, I haven't been in Florida all my life. So stay safe, stay healthy, and stay sassy.